Hey everybody, I uh, wanted to do a little bit of a different review today because I have some time right now. I decided to redo Spyware Terminator, um, but I changed a couple of things. During the install, I set everything to advanced and high security, and then I also installed uh, Clam AV2. So this is as uh, high security as I could get it. So it checks everything and it's supposed to, you know it's about as high as I could do it um, during the install and everything's updated so let's uh, get going you can see everything is installed there you can see that that's all updated and uh, let's get going I have some uh, malware here. Okay, attempt to modify default IE search settings. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's just uh, Bing trying to change some settings. Again, that's fine. Okay. So. Okay, first attempt to start uh, this process. It's just Internet Explorer trying to open that EXE, so we'll allow that. Now, Windows host processes, System32 is trying to start that process. We'll allow that too. Okay, there we go. Now it blocked it. So that's good. That hips uh, really is very talkative. Once again. Okay, here we go. Attempt to modify startup item is detected. So that program right there from temporary internet files is trying to mess around with msng.exe. So we will deny. We'll store that permanently. I don't know how many I'm going to get through because it's, uh, I'm going to try to go to about five minutes and then I'm going to do my normal scans. So we'll see how long, how many I can get through until then. If they don't seem to be responding fast enough, I'm just going to skip them. Okay, it's trying to open, it's trying to open, and it's trying to open. Okay, here we go. Uh, Once again, Windows Explorer is trying to open that file, and then Windows is trying to access the file. Okay, here we go. It's once again attempting to modify a startup thing. You can kind of see what it's trying to do, what the target is. And we'll deny that. Okay, Windows Explorer is trying to get out so that's fine okay let's move on once again Internet Explorer is trying to open it we'll allow that okay and it looks like it actually also caught it with the signatures Maybe not. No, I just blocked an action. That's uh, just doing what I told it to do. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. 
and the last one that I'm going to do. Once again, the Internet Explorer is trying to open it. Windows is trying to open it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to do a scan with Spyware Terminator, so I'll be back when that's done. Okay, finally I'm back here. I had to go do uh, some couple of things. So I found uh, one thing here, a couple of remaining items. So we will remove those. And I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so it's done removing. <clears throat> now I'm actually going to run something new. Uh, as some of you have know, lately I've been testing Komodo Cloud Scanner. And, uh, you know, just to see how it is. And now I'm going to test Komodo Web Scanner. So I'm going to go online and uh, run a scan. And I'll be back when that's done. I want to show you guys. This is what the page looks like where you get the, uh, <clears throat> where you can check it out. It's uh, personalfirewall.komodo.com forward uh, slash scan forward slash avscanner.html. And what you do is you just go down here and you uh, hit I accept and then you open the scanner and install the plugin. And then, because this is Internet Explorer, installs of ActiveX. And now it's downloading the database. Uh, this is uh, 109 megs on the database, so I would suspect that it's the complete uh, Komodo database. So I will be back. Okay, this is what the scanner looks like uh, when it's updated. It's got the database version 3083. I don't know how new that is, um, but it's there. And you can scan everything, or you can pick what you want from the drop down. So I'm going to pick everything and start. So I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so it did finish scanning, um, but they got some more work to do on it. It doesn't let you remove anything, uh, so it doesn't have anything that you can remove to clean out the system. And from what I can tell, it's running a really old database here, so they need to update this. This is, we're at like 4800 right now. So they need to do some more work on this, but it looks promising. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, install Malwarebytes, do a scan, and I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so uh, Malwarebytes finished scanning here, and it found three things. Uh, definitely got some uh, things going on here. Now, the HIPS was blocking this file in uh, uh, from Spyware Terminator. It was constantly blocking it, but it couldn't. The detections couldn't find it. And nothing was said about that, and we have a registry key that got changed. So we'll fix all that, and then next, what I'm going to do is uh, I decided to add to my arsenal uh, of testing tools here uh, Super Anti-Spyware Portable makes it easier that I don't have to install it or anything so I'm gonna do a scan with that see what it finds and I will be back when that's done okay so uh, the scan with Super Anti-Spyware finished here and it found one thing here it found that same file uh, probably has to be um, restarted for Malwarebytes to remove it, so I'll still remove it with. And then now I'll reboot after those two, and then I'll do a scan with Hitman Pro when this is done rebooting. Okay, so um, Hitman Pro finished scanning, and it found nothing. So that's good. Um, basically, what can I say about Spyware Terminator? Um, even with the clam antivirus and hips turned up to maximum and just being fairly annoying overall it still let in well, I think four things so it was still ineffective even as annoying uh, as it was to keep things from getting in the computer combine that with um, having huge memory usage we got what 67 megs there and then another what's that 13 15 16 so you're looking at what 80 megs something like that of usage it's just a security solution at this point in time that I wouldn't recommend to anybody um, detection wise it did good but it did okay not good but I'll let you guys come up with your own decision uh, that's it for tonight take care have a good day